Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is module 3 of grade 3. Please write your name first. And we're skip counting backwards by nines, down from 90. If you know your nines really well, it'll go really fast. Otherwise, I suggest uh, repeated addition, starting with 9 down here. Now it says, look at the tens place. The tens place in the count by, what is the pattern? And you'll see, look at the tens digits. And this is really a zero. So what is the pattern? Uh, it, it might be a little bit better to just say the. The tens digit decreases, or you could write goes down by one each time. And now it says look at the ones place in the count by and see what the pattern is there. I'll use pink for that one. I'll use blue for that one. <clears throat> so we're looking at the ones place. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ones digit increases by one each time. And this was this is a byproduct of what we figured out last time where you could figure out nines by thinking of uh, thinking of uh, tens and subtracting one one multiple. Right? If you figure out ten if you want to figure out nine fours, think of what's ten fours, that's forty and subtract a four. And it's just, so that's why it goes down. And the tens, that's why the tens, this is looking at it going backwards, why the tens go down and the ones go up. And you'll notice that each time the digits, like 9 plus 0 adds up to 9, 8 plus 1 adds up to 9, and 7 plus 2 adds up to 9. The digits always, the digits all add up to 9. That's another, there's lots and lots of patterns for 9s that you can use to figure them out if you don't remember them. Each equation rep contains a letter representing the unknown. Find the value of each unknown. So how many nines? Here we are. How many nines equals 18? That's two nines. And we just figure this it's all up here, right? But this is looking at it backwards, right? This is one nine, two nines, three nines, four nines, five nines, and so on. So you can just look back up here and figure out how many nines it is. <clears throat> Use that count by above. So let's see. How many not something divided by nine is three. So what's if we look at three nines, how much is that? One, two, three, that's twenty-seven. So twenty-seven divided by nine is is three. And so that's what we're looking for, missing factors. How many nines is 45? That's five nines. And something divided by nine is four. Well, if we wrote this as a multiplication equation, we'd be thinking of what's the product of nine times four. Just a, it's a lot of times for third graders, it's easier to look at multiplication than, than division. So we're looking at your divisor and your quotient become factors in multiplication and then your dividend here is your product 36 
How many nines equals 81? It takes nine nines. How many nines? <clears throat> Something divided by nine equals six. So we can just look up here. Okay, so that's six nines, right? One, two, three, four, five, six nines. That's 54. And six times nine equals 54. Or 9 times 6 equals 54. Okay, so here's a missing factor. How many 9s does it take to equal 90? That's one you should be able to get in your head. 10. And then we're looking here, we have, we would have factors of 9 and 8 if we were thinking about multiplication to put this back together again. And you have to start with 72 to need eight nines. And now here's our second page. So we're going to use that relationship, that one and nine making ten, we're going to use that relationship to figure out a few more things here. <clears throat> Just another ways of thinking of nines to figure out how to multiply by nine and how to divide by nine. So what's ten more than zero? It's 10. What's 1 less? 9. So what's 1, 9? It's 9. What's 10 more than 9? It's 19. What's 1 less? 18. Two nines. 18. What's 10 more than 18? 28. How do you figure out what 3 nines is, right? It's 2 nines plus 10 more and subtract one back. So that's 28, one less, 27, three nines is 27. <clears throat> you want to figure out four nines, that's 27, plus 10, take one back. So what's 10 more than 27? That's 37, one less is 36, so four nines is 36. We're just taking that last nine, right? So that's four nines. Now we want to figure out what five nines is. Add 10, take one back, and that's the same as adding a nine. It's a lot easier than adding 10 and taking one back is a lot easier than adding a nine. And it's just like it's the same trick that we've been using since first grade to add nines. So 10 more is 46. One less is 45. So that's 45. 10 more than 45 is 55, 1 less is 54, five, 6 nines is 54. For 7 nines, we're going to start with 6 nines is 54, 10 more is 64, 1 less is 63, so 7 nines is 63. To figure out 8 nines, if you know 7 nines, 10 more than 63 is 73. 1 less is 72, so 8 nines is 72. And 10 more than 72 is 82. 1 less is 81, so 9 times 9 is 81. And what's 10 more than 81? It's 91. And what's 1 less? It's 90, so 10 nines is 90. Now it says explain the problem, the, explain the pattern in, nine, in problem three and use the pattern to solve the next three facts. So what is the pattern? The pattern is, what is it we were just doing? It says, so explain the pattern. It's just, just say what, what, what is it we were just doing. The pattern is adding 10 then subtracting 1 to add one more nine. <clears throat> All right, so if we're looking at 11 nines, that's 
what's 10 more than, uh, right? It's 10 more than 90 is 100. 100 minus 1 is 99. So 11 nines is 99. 12 nines is 99. It's 10 more than 99, which equals 109. And 109 minus 1 equals 108. So 12 times 9 equals 108. And think about it, one more 12 would be 10 12s, right? That should be 120. If I add 12 to 108, I should get 120, and I would. So that's 108. And then 13 nines is going to be 10 more than the 108 we had for 12 nines which equals 118 and 118 subtract the 9 subtract the 1 back it's 117 so 9 13 times 9 equals 117